tribute to men that hate their jobs from Master X Media Series 3 Episode 15 Resignation Today was an amazing day It's my best day at work and it's not even started yet and I'll tell you exactly why Today was the review day set by the Welsh Government and Mark Shit Your Pants Drakeford actually announced that social distancing will be over in three weeks time and he's going to completely ease most of the restrictions and then as I was thinking it my phone buzzed it was my boss in the arena it said stand by for a return having a meeting on Friday which is in two days time to discuss when people can come back and I'm like yes in fact I shout yes I pump my fist in the air that's it that decides it I can now do what I wanted to do I've been wanting to do this for a long time so I went to my computer and typed in resignation. I didn't keep it sh- malicious. I didn't put waffle in. I kept it short and to the point to the HR manager and the store manager with consent of the duty manager to enact this. Okay. To the HR manager, I'm writing to confirm that my last day will be next Thursday as I need to give a week's notice and I've just been told by my employer from the arena that I'm been I'm to be reactivated and I'm to return to my job. I'd like to thank you for employing me during the pandemic. Kind regards. And then I signed it in blue ink because you always sign a document in blue ink. So if you sign a document in blue ink, you can then argue if it's in black and white that it's a photocopy and it's a forgery. Always sign in blue ink or even red ink or any other colour that's not black. Anyways, I digress. I folded the resignation in a formal way. So two folds into a long envelope. Done. And all I had to do was take it in. On my way into work. I was the happiest I've been in a long time. I actually had a nice little strut in my step, a little bounce in my walk, and a little pride. Yes, I say a little pride, a lot of pride. Pride that I was returning to what I'm supposed to be, doing what I was destined to do. And no one, no one could take that away from me today. Not one person. I arrived to work. Am my temperature taken? Yep, I've passed the uh, all infallible thermal test for Corona, which, to be honest, in a hot day, it's not really gonna prove much anyways. And I handed in my notice to my uh, manager. He then persuade, tried to persuade me to stay it one more time. And I said, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay. I'm not destined to stay here. I'm destined to go back. Besides which, I'm under contract to go back anyway, so I can't get out of it. But it doesn't say when you're supposed to return, though. Have they given you a date yet? No. So why are you handing your notice now? It's a bit early, isn't it? No, it's not. And why do you say that? Well, you see, I'm under contract to return straight off. When they tell me to return, I return. And I can't break that. Now, I'm supposed to give you guys a week's notice before I leave, or I could leave and leave you in the shit. What would you prefer? Well, we'd prefer you didn't leave us in the shit. Exactly, exactly. So, if I get a week off, then that's a nice, well-deserved week holiday. If it's a case of me having two weeks off, then that's an even longer holiday. It ain't going to be three weeks, is it? No. And why do you say that? Well, the arena's due to have its first show on the 10th of September. 
and we've got lots of work to do to get it re-established, re get all the system switched on. So uh, they ain't gonna leave it too late. That is a very good point. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you for the job. I'm gonna clock on now. Yeah, you do that. You do that. I will.